Welcome to the lesson. I'm going to show you five simple bass grooves that you can use in any shuffle 12 bar blues tune. The shuffle feel is very different from the straight feel and you need to know what both of them are if you want to get up at a blues jam night or you want to play at a blues gig. So keep watching this video and I'll explain more about the shuffle and straight feel. If you want to play at blues gigs then it's important that you have a variety of riffs that you know, that you have at your fingertips that you can use in different songs. It gets pretty boring very quickly um, if you play the same riff over and over again. So once you know these five riffs then you've got them as part of your arsenal and you can kind of call them up when you need to at a gig or a jam night. So we'll talk about the shuffle and the straight feel. So when a drummer starts you want to listen to the beat and work out whether it's a straight feel like this. or whether it's a shuffle feel like this. And the difference is with a straight feel we're going to be playing straight eighth notes, even eighth notes. And with a shuffle feel, we're going to play swung eighth notes like this. And you can hear there that it kind of works well with that drum beat. If, you, if the drummer's doing a shuffle beat and you're playing a straight feel, it doesn't work. <laughs> it just sounds rubbish. So make sure that you understand the difference between the shuffle and straight feel. Listen to those beats a few times if you need to. Um, and then when you're at a gig, make sure you listen to the drummer as well and hear what type of beat he's playing. And then that will um, help you to decide what sort of groove you want to play yourself. All the five bass riffs I'm going to show you in this video have the shuffle groove. Um, I've written them all down on a PDF in standard notation and tab and you can pick that up for free below this video by clicking the link in the description. So make sure you grab that, they're really useful to have so you can look over them. Okay, well, we're going to go straight on to the bass riffs now. This is riff number one. Okay, so we're in A. Now you can use an open A, but we're going to get this riff and we're going to take it around the 12 bars. We're going to play it in A, D and E. Now you can't really use the open E up here. So it's easier if we fret all of this, but then once you know the riff, you can try the riff on A and D with open A's at the bottom and open D's if you want to. Okay, so the riff here, just start with your first finger on the fifth fret of the E string. Okay, we're going to go play two A's and then A an octave higher. That means eight notes higher. That's an A there, seventh fret of the D string. So low A, low A, high A, low A. So bu, 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 remember the shuffle groove. Bum, 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 bum. Bum, 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 bum. Bum, 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 bum. And then we've got G. Okay, two Gs, F sharp. Okay, so that's five and four on the D string. And then E, play it on the seventh fret of the A string. Okay, so the second part of the riff. G, G, F sharp, E. Okay, so the whole riff. So try with me a little bit slower. Three, four. Some of you might find it hard going back down to that A and then jumping up to the G, okay? So that is where you can kind of use the open A's if you want. but that's entirely up to you. So we're in the key of A and we're going to play it in the 12 bar. So we need to move that riff around to A, D and E. So we're going to use a quick change um, for the 12 bar sequence. So that means you change to chord four in the second bar. So you need to know that. If someone says quick change, that means change to um, chord four in bar two. Okay, so this is a sequence. We've got a bar of A7, a bar of D7, two bars of A7. That's the first line. Then we've got two bars of D7, two bars of A7, second line, third line, a bar of E7, a bar of D7, and then two bars of A7, but there's a kind of turnaround at the end of the bar. So the last bar goes, so we're just going A, D, D sharp, E, and then two more E's. Okay, 
Try that with me. Three, four. So that turnaround we're going to use um, when we use all five riffs, okay? So we're just going to keep it simple and use the same turnaround. Okay, so we've got the riff on A. And then you need to change it to D. So just shift everything a string higher. Okay, so same riff, same shape, same frets, just a string higher. So that's the riff on D. And then the riff on E, shift um, up another two frets. Okay, so that's the riff in A, D, E. Okay, so it's just a matter now of plugging it into the sequence. So I'll play that for you now with the backing track. copy of that backing track by the way you can purchase that um, on the website just follow the link below this video or head over to gbshed.com um, and you'll see just click on the shop and you'll see backing tracks now um, I've looped that so it's longer so you can just practice all these riffs there's no bass on it um, and also once you've bought that backing track there's another couple of lessons that that works with as well so it's kind of three lessons uh, for one backing track so it's like really good value you can use it for the other lessons as well Okay, riff number two, I'll play it for you first. So everything's in A, okay, so we start again on A. Okay, and that's actually, it's a really common blues riff. They use it on the live version of, they call it Stormy Monday, Albert King um, and Steve Ray Vaughan. That kind of comes in, there's kind of two bass lines for that. I think that comes in the second half. So I'll play it slowly. Okay, so we haven't got the, the second note of the scale, but this is the um, A minor blues scale. Okay, so apart from that C, we use all the other notes. Okay, so make sure that you know um, A minor blues scale. Really handy shape to know for blues. Okay, so we just start on A, up to, uh, two A's, and then two high A's, and then G, D, D sharp, E. Okay, just join in. And again, we need to play that on D if we're going to play it with the 12 bar sequence. Just do the riff starting on D, the fifth fret of the A string, and then shift along seventh fret of the A string, there's E. Okay, so you've got your 12 bar sequence there with the riff. And remember, we've got the turnaround. And then we go again, you repeat it around and around. So I'll play that riff now with the 12 bar sequence. lesson don't forget to subscribe to my channel you can do that by clicking the red subscribe button and if you click the bell then you'll get notified of all my new lessons as they come out riff number three I'll play that for you first okay it's a bit awkward to play that one's based on a major pentatonic okay these are our notes We don't play the B actually, but we play all the other notes. Okay. So make sure that you know um, a major pentatonic scale as well. 
Okay, so check this um, lesson out, actually. This will really help you with scales. Um, if you click on that, um, you can learn your blue scales and your pentatonic scales. Okay, so start with your first finger on A again, and we go low A, high A, G, F sharp, E, C sharp, okay? Quick jump there. So you can use, again, the open A if you want. All these low A's you can play as open. Just experiment and see what you prefer, so. Open. Open. That works for D as well. So open D. But really E, unless you play that low E. You kind of need, need to use that seventh fret. Okay, so, and then you can really choose what you want to do for that. So again, I'm now going to play that riff with the 12 bar sequence. interested in sorting your blues playing out then check out my walk the blues course um, so that's a video course for bass players it covers American blues um, real kind of pure blues and depending on when you're watching this I'll also have my um, birth of British blues course coming out so that comes out January 2023 so depending on when you're watching that that might be out as well um, so you've got some choices there just head to the video page of gbshed.com and you can see all my courses there Riff number four uses a kind of boogie line, really. Um, this is a kind of real familiar kind of blues bass line. Okay, so that kind of boogie line. That probably sounds familiar to you. Um, so this is a two bar riff. So when we change to the quick four in bar two, we just need to cut the riff in half, just play the first half. So the first half is, okay, so we, that's kind of just root, third, fifth, sixth, flat and seventh, okay. So join in with me. Okay, um, the second half is, so G, two Gs, two F sharps, two E's, two C sharps. So I'll try the whole riff. Okay, and then you need to play it on D. Okay, but when you put it into the sequence, remember bar two, go to D straight away. So we play the first half, and then move to D, and then back to A and play the whole riff. Okay, so I'm gonna play it to the backing track now. Riff number five, I've given you quite a tricky one. It's based on the Pride and Joy bass line, which is a real classic by Tommy Shannon. And it's a particular kind of technique with open strings here, so you definitely do play the open strings. Um, so we've got this descending pattern here. Okay, so we'll play that first. So A, G, F sharp, E. And you'll recognize they have this same kind of shapes and same notes in, in these riffs because they're just using the pentatonic and blues scales okay so you've 
kind of not got that many choices of notes really, but it's what you do, how you combine them, and what rhythms you use. So we've got so start with the seventh fret of the D string. So with your little finger, A, G, F sharp, E, and we're going to put open A's in between those. If you're struggling with that, don't worry because loads of people just can't play that to start with. It's a kind of a bit of tongue twister for the bass there. So. A, open A, G, open A, F sharp, open A, E, open A, okay? Most people struggle when they go down to the E because it's on the same string as the open A. Try and join in with me. Three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, okay? Um, if you're interested in that bass line, then check out here. I've uh, I've made a lesson on it that will help you. Okay, um, so it is a tricky bass line, um, and also that's in my blues course, Walk the Blues. Okay, um, and then we move it up to D. You can use the open Ds. So seventh fret of the G string. So I'm using open Ds there. go to E we're going to use the low E we're going to start on the seventh fret of the A string and use low open E's okay so the riff on A the riff on D the riff on E okay and then the turnaround Okay, so I'm going to plug that into the 12 bar sequence and play it along with the backing track. So that's all the simple bass riffs and the last one's not so simple sorry about that <laughs> and so make sure you pick up the free pdf below click in the link in the description and also check out the back and track that's really useful you can take the pdf and the back and track away and practice them and you get a kind of near to what it's like to play with a live band with that backing track. Let me know in the comments how you got on with this lesson. Uh, I love hearing if you play blues gigs, if you're in a blues band or you want to do a jam night. Um, so there's plenty of lessons here. I've got my blues playlist as well. Just have a look at that. That will get you trained up ready for a, a jam night. In a minute, I'm going to show you another lesson that follows on really nicely from this lesson. And if you felt you got value out of this lesson, you can always buy me a coffee, um, a $5 coffee. So the link's below again um, in the description. And also you can see at the bottom of the screen here. So that's buy me a coffee. You can also visit my website, gbshed.com. I've got loads of free base resources. I've got my video courses, books, merchandise, um, loads of things over there. So go and check out gbshed.com. If you want to follow on from this lesson um, and learn more about the shuffle feel, then check out this video here. That's all about the Texas shuffle groove. And um, that's one of my most popular lessons on YouTube. So I'm sure you'll love it. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel here on YouTube by clicking the red subscribe button. This is Greg from Greg Space Shed. Hopefully see you very soon in the next video. <laughs> <laughs>